To send your ePortfolio link to your professor, go ahead and type in Wix.com. Then click sign in on the right hand side and you're going to sign in with Google since your odu.edu account is hosted through Google. So I'm just doing a different account, but you're going to use your odu.edu account. And then you'll come to the dashboard for your website. There's a couple different ways that you can get the proper link to send to your professor. This is the live site link. This is the link that you're going to share with people when they want to view your ePortfolio. So you can simply take your cursor over this and highlight the whole thing, copy it to your clipboard by clicking Control C on Windows, Command C on Mac, and then pasting this wherever your professor is asking for the link. Or you can actually go into your site. You can click on View Live Site here. It'll open up your website. And then you can use this URL here, which as you can see is the same link as here. So once again, I just went to view live site. And this is my live site. As you can see, the grid lines are not there. The icons on the left hand side are not there. This is my live site. So the live site link is in the URL here. The last way you can get the live site link is if you're actually editing your site. You wait for it to load some. When you click on publish, you'll get this screen that says congratulations, your site is published and is live online. This is also a way that you can get the live site link. You can copy this and send that to your professor as well. So those are the few ways that you can send the proper link to your professor. You do not want to go into your website, go into the editor and use this link right here because it says editor.wix.com. That is not the proper link because you are the only person that can edit your site, not your professor or classmates. So if you try to send this link to your professor or anybody else that wants to see your site, they're going to get a 404 error message. So you really want to be careful that you are sending them the live site link which is going to be shortened like this. Yours might say, you know, wixsite.com, um, but it's not gonna be too, too long. You just wanna make sure you use one of the three methods that I showed you to get this live site link. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.